Hi there, LinkedIn family. Jonathan here from Some Talented People. And we continue our discussion with Gazelle, with Shiri, and with Gregory. And um, this this literally was happening as we had the conversation. And we're launching a LinkedIn page. And so, as we said, or as I said yesterday, if you can, so if you're Basically, women are getting this a hell of a lot. So if you can send screenshots, all the messages you've been sent in the comments below, what we're doing is we're starting a LinkedIn page called LinkedIn Me Too. And we're going to um, put this abuse front and center of a conversation in the same way as it occurred in the film industry or in the music industry because sexual violence is something which is endemic for it to be so ubiquitous is horrifying and so i urge you to please leave your comments because once we start to talk about this more and more then people will start to say oh yeah, I didn't speak up to defend that person. Oh, I let that person get away with that sexist comment. Because you have to be proactive to generate the society that we deserve to live in. All right, enjoy the show. Yep. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Th there is something I would like to definitely add to this talk. Because um, I kind of have a take on my opinion of what we might do to actually exact some change in this area. Because um, I don't think that LinkedIn necessarily is gonna, even if they get enough pushback from people that they're going to do enough you know, banning. Uh, if they had to ban everybody who had some bad behavior, I think they would lose about half their membership. <laughs> yeah. Including people who you know, spend a lot of money on their expensive LinkedIn recruiter product. So um, I, I, what I think is that you know, it, it takes a bold and courageous action. And you know, my post yesterday, you know, about LinkedIn not being a data site, even if shared by other men, which was my main goal, may help incrementally. But if we want real change, bold action, I think, is really required. Right. And as I mentioned, I don't think LinkedIn's going to do enough. Um, so my suggestion is that, and, and this is, you know, let me know what you, you guys think about this, but uh, that women should start sharing screenshots of these yes. ridiculous advances, yep. calling out these men publicly on posts. Yep. And we can get some real traction. It's akin to the Me Too movement in Hollywood that stopped Matt Lauer and others like that. Um, if they get that kind of feedback and they have the fear of being exposed for the dirtbags they are, mm -hmm. um, I think that can make some real change. Now, it's going to take a lot of courage because then there's, you know, oh, are they going to get, you know, Lash back or, or what have you, and, and it exposes the you know the women who are doing it as well, which is a difficult position. It's easy for me to suggest that, right? But I, you know, what do you think about that, Sherry? I, I actually think it's a it's a great idea. I honestly don't think um, I think most women won't have an issue doing that, or men. I, I don't think it would be an issue, especially when you create kind of like a, a movement behind it, and you know people are backing you up. With this, you're not alone. Absolutely. It takes one. And then as soon as someone does it, other people are like, oh, yeah, me too. Me too. Me too. Yeah. And then, yeah. You know, yeah. And that's, that's what I want to see happen. I think that's a great idea. So um, to offer a counterbalance, I had a discussion. So on um, Gazelle's, I don't know how I got introduced to this lady, but there's a lady called Zara Kabiri. And she spoke to me for quite a long period of time about how men that do this are victims. Now, I can accept that when people are fucking assholes, there is quite often pain at the root of their behavior. But her approach, and I'll tag her in the, in the recordings, is to get these men to connect with her and then she sets them off in groups of other men like them to help each other and she says that publicly shaming or exposing someone isn't nice and then she told me a story which i'll just relate to you in brief and it was about basically she got this dream job she'd always wanted her boss 
kept on making propositions to her, kept on asking her this, kept on asking her that when she was engaged, when she was married, continued, 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 numerous messages all day, all on private messaging, uh, and this went on for seven years. And she had reframed it in a way that she accepted him as a friend. And that's how she was able to see the more compassionate side to it. But as a man looking in, I find that an appalling position to be put in. So with that perspective, what do we think? Do you think it's worth setting up a LinkedIn page with one of these hashtags? Let me, um, I don't know if you saw them, Shuri. Uh, where is it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so. so we've got um, you will not silence me. I'm still standing, forever standing, and I stand within my power. What do you reckon? Yeah. Um, and, and and the reason I didn't respond, um, I would like it to be more direct. Sure. Um, you know, it's uh, and and you know, I, I was and I totally forgot to you know apply that to that to that. I think the hashtag or the page needs to be, you know, that direct that it has, you know, the word somehow in it, you know, uh, um, use connections, you know, like, let's call it what it is, mm -hmm. right? Uh, in my opinion, um, from a marketing standpoint, and also from a communication standpoint, just literally call it what it is, abusive connections, right? Because that's what we're talking about. Yeah. So that would be my perspective. Like the names are all great. And these are, you know, things that we can use within that page. Let's just be very direct about what is it, you know, that, that we're doing here. Um, you know, not too cute, sorry for a lack of a better word. And this is my marketing head, right? Kicking in, but just abusive connections. Cause that's what we're talking about. Call it what it is. Yep. And, you know, let's start a page or whatever we want to start behind it. You know, th this movement so people can have a platform to report, to talk, to see that, hey, this is happening to everybody, not just you, uh, you know, and, and have a voice in there. Okay, well, that sounds like a very good perspective. Uh, Gregory, go on. Sure. Um, no, I, I agree with being being direct. Um, my take is, uh, this is just the way I feel about it. I know we mentioned it earlier uh, when we were corresponding about it. I like the LinkedIn Me Too because Me Too is already a known movement. It's, I mean, it's, it's global. People immediately understand what that is. And if we apply LinkedIn Me Too, then we know that we're applying that movement to the LinkedIn program. And people, I think, will be maybe more willing to, to jump in. You know, abusive connections can be a little bit misleading. It could, could mean a number of things. Could Not be. necessarily people coming in and trying to proposition you. But Me Too is very clear. I'm being propositioned. Stop it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that I think is a very good idea then. So basically what 